Hi everyone, it's the English Summer here and welcome back to my Rooster to Riches. I don't know if I can even call this Rooster to Riches. I know we started from one rooster, but now we have, we still have one chick. I think Ginger's glitched out. Ginger will not age up and I've tried to like shift click on her and she still won't age up. Like, I don't know if there's a cheat to be able to age her up, but she's just like trapped in eternal chickling hood and I really don't know what to do about it but we are about to hatch another egg we just got the notification Ooh, and we also went up in our choco berry right can we weed this oh look at little ivy ivy is even coming out in a thunderstorm to help us weed our garden what the heck we're gonna chat about the freezer bunny we're gonna give her a book because I absolutely know that she adores books. We're gonna take that gift offered by her. The rooster that we got literally after we got Ginger has aged up. It's a little bit ridiculous. I think like Ginger's literally just, oh, we got a llama corn cross stitch pattern. That's actually quite good because I actually really wanna get James into cross stitching. Oh, Rebecca's here. Where's she at? I haven't seen Rebecca in like the longest time. Are you kidding me? We're gonna go and get some leftovers from our fridge. Betty, reset her. Right, there we go. Right, grab some leftovers. What? What's James doing? James, no, don't clean out the- Oh, it just fell flat on your ass. Also, if any of you are having the glitch that I'm having where your plants like literally reset and therefore will not grow, like all you have to do is turn on testing cheats, shift, press down shift, and then select gardening state, growth stage, and change them to blossoming. Cause mine keep disappearing and I have absolutely no idea why. So it's pretty self-explanatory that it is currently pissing it down. I'm gonna have James do a, oh, I forgot how expensive cross stitching was. Holy smokes. Oh, Betty's having a cheeky little flirt. We're gonna fertilize all of our stuff that needs fertilizing. And then we're actually go, gonna go on like a little group outing. I did say in the last part, I kind of wanted Inez to sort of corner James a little bit, but she's brought Betty in on the plan. So Betty is gonna take James along with her. I'm gonna open this up actually. Actually, can I see? Hen chick. Yeah, we got a hen. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, Rocky, we literally got after Ginger and he's grown up. So I think Ginger is just glitched out. If anyone knows how to fix that, maybe I'll just like send her away and get something in return. That might be the best option and then just like wait for another hatchable egg might be my best bet. Right, James, continue to throw that away, you dirty little bugger. And we're gonna head on over to the pub with Inez. Obviously, this is also part of Betty's plan and we're actually gonna ask if she is single. Obviously, in the last part, we asked if, what's her face, Augusta was single. They do say that the gays are like penguins. They literally huddle together before you even know it. That is true for my friendship group. Literally not one of us like ever thought like throughout secondary school that we were gay and look at us now. More than half of us of my friendship group are gay. I definitely live by that and I feel like this friendship group is the same. Obviously Augusta is like canonically because she's also attracted to James. Um, ooh, they still have their love. Oh, we didn't shoot. I didn't invite Inez. <laughs> Get her over here. Invite to hang out at current lot. I don't even know if this is gonna work because my game has been glitchy as anything whilst inviting people out. We're gonna go over here together. Ooh, James is, is a bit stinky actually. Inez will be right over. Yeah, I'll, be I'll believe it when I see it, game. Oh, she actually is here. Would you look at that? Let's go here together. Who is this woman? Haley Cantrell. I have no idea. Oh my God. You poor souls. 
Oh, look, even Agnes is over here. What the hell? Like, literally have to stand out in the rain. Oh, Inez is looking moody. Let's pretend that this is Inez doing this, but obviously Inez isn't a playable character right now for me, at least. So we're gonna give a little rude introduction because these two are definitely not seeing eye to eye and then um we are gonna yell at and we are also going to mean we're gonna argue about politics inez is literally stunning i'm like obsessed with her she wants to be an actress which i actually really like she's like this small town like grew up in the country like grew up in the town but still in the countryside and she's like no I'm gonna be a star. Who the hell do you think I am? I truly believe that her and Augusta could be a power couple if they wanted to be. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna interact. We're gonna praise little Squee. I know I still have not renamed Squee. Hopefully before I pre-record the next part, um, I will actually have seen your com comments of what we should actually name this dog. <laughs> So for right now, I am just calling her Squee. Okay, these two argued. I want to know who won the argument. <laughs> James is a loser. Of course, of course he is. I love that. You always knew Inez was going to win. No, Inez, don't say goodbye. No, 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 no. I need to know. I'm going to get to know you. Stay, stay. No, Inez, get back here. You little stinky bum. I'm gonna call you right back. I know you do not have a freaking audition today. So get your cute little butt back here. I am trying to set you up with Augusta. Is this gonna be awkward? Ah, I don't know. I kind of love the drama though. I'm kind of living for it. Right, we are going to talk about our hopes and dreams. We actually haven't told Inez about the uh, the pipe dream that is currently the bakery. So we're gonna describe a new idea, have a little bit of a deep conversation, discuss our interests, and then of course, I don't know if this is gonna count she is not feeling James. She's like, why? Why did you two have to freaking do the deed in the last part? What was that about, Betty? I thought you were more headstrong than that. Betty has learned that Inez is single. Now we have to report single sims to Agatha. Yeah, sure. Inez can like fitness, that's absolutely fine. Why don't you actually come and bake? We're gonna make some sugar cookies to also give to Agatha. And Inez is off, okay. Clearly she's busy, clearly she has other plans. She definitely let James know where he stood on Inez's terms though. I kind of love it. Betty, why are you bringing it over here, girly? There is plenty of cooking space. She just wants to be close to Sara. I feel like Sara has definitely taken on. Oh, yes, we acquired the baking skill. That's what I wanted. That's what I like to see. I kind of want to get James into herbalism. I'm not going to lie. Like, definitely want to get him into cross-stitching, like I said. I don't think there's actually a cross-stitch up here. I kind of want to add one, though. Just between them, I feel like Betty, like, wants to just, like, work on the farm to honor her grandparents. Whereas James, I feel like, wants to, like, carry on the hobby side of things and he very much knew that Marjorie was into cross stitch so I kind of want James to start like the little um how much is a small hoop oh my god we genuinely do not have the money for it whatsoever once we complete this errand we should but yeah I feel like he wants to honor 
Marjorie in that way and set up like his own little club. And I also think he wants to make like a good impression on Betty's friends still. I feel like he thinks this is a good way to go about it with like inviting them to a cross stitch club, getting to know them, like putting more effort in for sure. Right, we have the sugar cookies and we need to report back to Agatha. Where is she? We're gonna see if the, what's it called? The hypothesis was correct that you lot left. Whether we needed to ask the single Sims and then continue their love story on in the next errand. Cause remember when we did this with Marge, it freaked out. He's a young adult now, Rahul, which is good. He's aged up. He's aged up alongside uh, Betty and James, which is quite nice. Don't run inside. No, you need to give this to her for feck sake. Thunderstorms are a pain in the ass. Also, there was a naked man running along. <laughs> I have some glitchy CC. I really need to do a CC overhaul and like delete a lot of my, uh, my broken stuff for sure. All right, we did everything. Could the message from the gnomes be any clearer? Love is in the air. Or at least it will be once I sprinkle a little bit of my matchmaking magic. Perk up, my dear. We're in this together now. Come see me again when you're ready for our next undertaking. I am ready. I am raring to go. I want to set these two up. I knew I could count on you. You're just what this village needs. A pair of fresh ears for catching all that Gossip. We get a decorative gnome, a flirty potion, and a fertilizer. I just want more fecking animal treats. Love is in the air. Can you feel it? Well, perhaps it needs slight nudge from yours truly. Henford on Bagley's own self pointed matchmaker. Roses are known to help budding relationships blossom. And I've entrusted you with two of them. Offer them to two single sims who you would think would make a perfect pair. Alright. Right, and then we're gonna go try and haggle Agnes over here and uh, see if she has any treats on offer. <gasps> Tomorrow is the cow fair. Oh my word. I'm excited. We can finally take Marjorie to the cow fair. I swear if we do not get Oh, are you not gonna give me one? How dare you, Agnes? Right, let's see what's in. I also need to buy a lettuce as well, so we should probably do that. Maybe we can get the golden treats on thingy days. Maybe we have to do it on a fair day, because I think that's when like the rarer stuff enters the shop, maybe. I'm actually really loving the little friendship group that we have going on. So we're gonna do a small hoop. We're gonna do a small hoop bird. I want James to try and start listing these on Plopsy because right now like Betty's bringing in most of the money through like farming and also uh, canning and I feel like James kind of needs to, well I feel like he probably wants to start pulling his weight a little bit more in the uh, relationship. So I think we're gonna have him do that. I feel like Foghorn's gonna die soon. And I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna be so sad when it happens because everyone's just told me how flipping heartbreaking it was. I figured that if I just kept giving him the healthy treats, it would be fine. James has a 14 count Ida cloth at the ready as they embark. Okay, noise. Let's see this. Oh, I mean, it's not really. Oh, look at little Squee. Squee's just chilling. Oh, Inez would like to. Yeah, come on over, Inez. Guess what I have for you? Obviously, we're not going to give her the rose in front of James, just in case we don't want to tread on any toes. I don't want James to think, actually, you know what? Maybe. Oh, are you in heat, Squee? Oh, no. <laughs> I hope there wasn't any other doggos around the, uh, I, I don't think there was, around the pub at all. You think James is stinky? <laughs> Big bisexual energy there, Inez, with the finger guns. I see you. Okay, coming in, talking to James. This is quite cute. How about we try and add her to our club? I want to create a club. It's going to be called Cross Stitch Lovers. Yes, another Taylor Swift reference. Who would have thunk it? Um, I'm 
gonna have, I'm just gonna choose the rainbow and it's gonna be invite only. And then we're gonna try and invite Inez. <laughs> don't know if Inez will approve. Um, and then I want to invite Sara as well. Am I allowed? Yes. I also want to invite Lavinia considering she's the mayor of the town. I want to get on her good side. We can't invite Agatha though and I'm so sad about it. And then can we choose to like gossip social? Be friendly, be funny, be mean, be, be mischievous. I wish you could like choose like gossip over here, but that's all right. We'll just go for them for now. We probably will choose like drinking coffee and stuff because that feels like it makes sense. And it's gonna be called cross, I don't, it, does cross stitch have a hyphen in it? Cross stitch, is that how you spell it? Why am I so rubbish? There we go. We gave the rose to little Inez. What is that face? Oh my God. The little actress in Inez is gonna be so mad if I use that as my thumbnail. She'd kill me. Oh, look at that little face. You have a secret admirer. I'm not gonna tell you who it is, but you do have one. Um, are you gonna, like, I swear we got a thingy from that, didn't we? Oh, you're just looking at my, we are not romantic. This is not romantic in any sense. Excuse moi, please don't give me those little flirty eyes, Inez. I'm doing this out of the goodness of my own heart, girly. Well, am I really? Let's be real. <laughs> It might not be from the goodness of Betty's heart. It might be a little bit of a distraction because sometimes she does feel as if Inez has a little bit too much to say about her romantic relationship with James. Speaking of, he's just taking himself off to bed. He's gonna pee him his, himself. You should go and use the, the toilet first and then have a little bit of a sleep. He knew that that wasn't anything flirty. He's not feeling like he needs to uh, defend his love for Betty. I think, to be fair, Betty's probably confided in him. Betty's been like, how do you feel about Inez and Augusta together? Personally, I can see them working quite well. I feel like they're both ambitious in like different ways. I feel like Augusta wants to be a scientist. Like I see that as her perfect job for her. Maybe like working in labs and stuff. And then like, Inez obviously wants to be an actress like I've talked about. And I just, I don't know. I feel like they have the same like amount of ambitiousness towards their future careers. I can see them personally working quite well. Oh, you know what? We're gonna bring in Squee's bowl. I'm sorry, Squee. I quite like the fact that you're like an outdoorsy dog and you just like stay outside most of the time, but it's not fair to make you go and freaking like eat your food when it's like, absolutely thunderstorming outside. I was like, yeah, the cow stayed in. Obviously it's thunderstorming. I don't want to bring it out. And then my poor dog, everyone's falling asleep. Oh shoot, it's 9 p.m. on a Friday evening. What juicy goss did you just tell me? Excuse me. I thought Betty just got struck by lightning. Oh my God. My heart was in my throat. Are you kidding me? Luckily, she just fell over in the mud. Jeez, I was so scared then. Oh my God, 190 simoleons. Sell that bad boy, please and um, thank you. Betty, why don't you actually spend the evening canning? We're gonna make some more charming mushroom conserves. Oh, we can also do... Sp we can do any? I thought it was literally, I never scrolled down. I literally thought it was just these three, but we can do any. I wonder how much spicy gets us. I should do an experiment. I might create one of each of what we have and see what the most expensive is and just hoard those mushrooms. So do a charming one for now because we do have some charming mushrooms in our inventory. So you might as well. James, get sleep. You've gone to sleep like 6,000 times this evening. Like literally just go to bed, 
chill the heck out. I think James is on his toes because Inez is here. I don't think he trusts her just yet. He's like, I'm still scared of Inez. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like she has her hand around my neck at all times. She has a face that looks like it could melt butter, but I genuinely think she could take you down if she wanted to. She's got this streak in her that I'm like, yeah, I would also be scared of you. If I ever wronged you or wronged Betty, I think I would keep my distance because like, I don't know, you might be tampering with these canned goods right now. You might be like, Betty, yeah, I know the perfect ingredients. And then it's just like, yeah, add a little bit of poison. That's, she wouldn't call it poison. It's probably like a poisonous mushroom or something like that. But I am gonna wrap up here because my dog is barking and I know I could get away with saying it was the squee, but I'm not gonna do that. Excuse me, did you just hit something? I thought it would have eradicated one of my plants. Luckily, it has not. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I very much appreciate you. I'm just gonna have Betty can a bunch of stuff. Hopefully, we'll make a decent profit in the next part. It's gonna be the cow fair. We're gonna have the group together. We're gonna give Augusta the rose before we go. And then we're gonna meet up in a group and it's gonna be like a little double date but those two kind of don't know it, you know? Betty is treading in her grandma's footsteps and absolutely playing Cupid for these two. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're all looking forward to it and I will speak to you all in the next one. Bye now.